Study me with the guiding spirit. Then will I teach transgressors my ways? The implied to the belief. Live me from what goodness to God, the God of my salvation. I come from the other way to me. For all that is not my lips, and my mouth shall show forth my praise. The happy is where I shall have to be. The very one of the mountain. The sacrifice of God is quite clear. I'm telling all the hearts of God. Oh, Heavenly King, we come from the Spirit of truth, whatever we are, and fill us all things. Treasure your blessings and giver of life. Come and abide in us and cleanse us from every impurity, and save our soul from the one. Glory to God in the highest, and earth, peace to the world of men. Oh, Heavenly King, we come from the Spirit of truth, whatever we are, and fill us all things. Treasure your blessings and giver of life. Come and abide in us, and cleanse us from every impurity, and save our soul from the one. Swallow the leash and roll us into the end of the end of the millennium. O oh, heavenly King, the comfort of the Spirit of truth, who are everywhere and fill us all things, treasure your blessings and giver of life. Come and abide in us and cleanse us from every impurity, and save our souls of the one. 
O Lord, open up my lips, and my mouth shall show forth thy praise.
They said to him, Lord, come and see. Jesus wept. So the Jews said, see how he loved him. But some of them said, could not he who opened the eyes of the blind man have kept this man from dying? And Jesus, deeply moved again, came to the tomb. <clears throat> it was a cave, and a stone lay upon it. Jesus said, Take away the stone. Martha said to him, Lord, by this time there will be an odor, for he has been dead for days. But Jesus said to her, Did I not tell you that if you would believe, you would see the glory of God? So they took away the stone from the place where the dead was laid. And Jesus lifted up his eyes and said, Father, I thank thee that thou hast heard me. I knew that thou hearest me always, though I have said this on account of the people standing by, that they may believe that thou didst send me. When he said this, he cried out with a loud voice, Lazarus, come out. <clears throat> the dead man came out his hands and feet bound with bandages, and his face wrapped with a cloth. Jesus said to them, Unbind him, and let him go. And here the Jews, therefore, who had come with Mary, and had seen what Jesus did, believed in him. In the Father, and of the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. God is amazing because I was all ready to talk in a particular way about last of Saturday. And God brings us through the message of St. Paul a totally different revelation. You heard our dear Joe read from the Epistle to Hebrews. And it says, Remember those suffering affliction, for you have no bodies yourselves. Be content with what you have, for God himself has said, I will never fail you, nor ever forsake you. So we proclaim boldly, the Lord is my supporter. I will not be afraid. What can man do to me? I was thinking, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ, that there's so much fear and anxiety that has been perpetuated all across the airwaves. I wish our hierarchs would actually come to us and say, like they've said with other directives, stop watching television. Stop listening to that message. It's the wrong message. It's not the message of the gospel. It's not the message of Christ. And it certainly isn't the message that we just heard this morning. Those people who are not Orthodox, who are not mainstream Christians, 
would hear about this raising of Lazarus and say, yeah, right. There's no proof of that, but there is proof of that. Lazarus was a human being. After he was raised from the dead, he was appointed by St. Paul's disciple Barnabas to be the first bishop outside of Cyprus, in a place called Kutu. Okay, It's documented. Here's a man who was in the tomb four days, that Christ rose, went on to live his life. Which begs the question with us, we've kind of been like, forgive me Lord, but I'm going to use this point. We've kind of been entombed in our own homes for the past several weeks. Can't go any place unless it's a necessity, whatever that means. My idea of a necessity in my life is totally different. She always corrects me, thank God. But I, I think we understand that, at least we should understand, we are not in this alone. Yes, we're all isolated. But remember Lazarus. Remember Lazarus. And what did Christ say to his disciples before they got back to Bethany? Your friend has been dead precisely so that you will see the glory of God. The same is happening here. We're kind of entombed and isolated and, and we're all like hunkering down and waiting for the end. It's all going to be for the glory of God. Do we know how it's going to play out? Of course not. We're not supposed to know. He's God, we're not. Sorry. But we have to use our own personal prayer time and our spiritual time and our spiritual discipline to trust Him. To trust Him. To know that He's in control. The same God who raised Lazarus is going to deliver us. Those aren't empty words. That's a guarantee from God Himself. The church uses this weekend, Lazarus Saturday and Palm Sunday, to remind us that this Jesus, this Christ, is our Savior. This Christ whom all of us daily betray through our sinfulness, through our actions. It's the same Christ that's going to come to us and say, I have risen. I will deliver you. In our case, from this horrible pandemic that we suffered through. But I really think it's time that we as Orthodox Christians stop playing into the fear and the anxiety that is out there. It is our Savior who does the work. It is our Savior who rose Lazarus. It is our Savior who will deliver us. God bless you. <clears throat> Let us say with all our soul and mind, let us say, Lord, have mercy. Lord, we love our fathers, we pray thee. Hearken and have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Have mercy on us, O God, according to thy great goodness, we pray thee. Hearken and have mercy. Lord, 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 have
Anne, George, Rita, Dorothy, Dan, John, Barbara, Joseph, Anna, Mark, Nick, Colin Crosspurs, Dragon, Dennis, Lasco, Vasilia, Stefan, the servants of God, Carl, Raymond, Donna, Anne, Helen, Alex, Anne, Anka, Louise, Mimi, Nick, Polis, Stephanie, Sharon, Amy, Sophie, Dorothy, Peter, George, Keith, Tammy, Arlene, Hubert, and Smilia, who hear in all the world by the sleep of the Lord. Salvation visitation for the servants of God. Eva, Jim, Michael, William, Nancy, Marianne, Helen, Gary, Child, Daniela, Kay, Elizabeth, Mary, Luann, Nova, Beverly, Dorothy, Margaret, Clarice, Cody Presbyters, Adam, Paul, Joseph, Melania, Timothy, Gregory, Nava, and Eugene. For the pardon remission of their sins. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Amen. We pray. Eternal Lord, God Almighty, in ineffable goodness and love for humankind, both the one us who have gathered in your holy name, and those who have been not be present, be our constant helper and defender at the time of this pandemic. And hear our prayer often with contrition of heart. Compassionate Lord, save, protect, and deliver us from the impending threat of the coronavirus. Grant health and recovery to those suffering from it, and guide the hands of physicians and preserve those who minister to the afflicted. Let us all say with all of our hearts and minds, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Amen. We pray for those who are being offered the good works in this holy and venerable house. For those who labor and those who sing, and for all the people who are present, who await thy great and rich mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. For thou art merciful, thou lovest mankind, and to thee be ascribed glory, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever unto ages of ages. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy, and us to keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. Wish God, we God, always by thy might, we may spread glory unto thee, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever unto ages of ages.
singing a triumphant hymn, shouting, proclaiming, and saying,
us had the prayer before Holy Communion. <clears throat> I believe, O Lord, and I confess that thou art truly Christ, the Son of the living God, the King of the world, will save sinners, of whom I am cursed. I believe also that this is truly thy own blood, spirit, body. This is truly thy own precious blood. Therefore, I pray thee, have mercy upon me, and forgive me my transgressions, that voluntary and voluntary, of word and of deed, committed with knowledge and ignorance, and make me worthy to partake without condemnation of thy most mysteries, for the remission of my sin is unto life everlasting. Amen. Of thy mercy to a son of the Son of God, Extend to their days to be again, for not speak of thy mystery to the enemies. Neither like the Judas will I give thee a kiss, but like the thief will I confess thee. Remember me, O Lord, in thy kingdom. May the communion of my mysteries, neither to my judgment, nor to my condemnation, O Lord, to the healing of soul and body. Amen. Please remember to say the prayer of thanksgiving to yourself after we receive Holy Communion.
those pages for you this day of the heavenly one mysteries. Make straight our path, bring us all thy fear. Guard our life, make firm our steps. In the prayers and the of the glorious, thy all help us and have the Virgin Mary of all thy saints. Without our sanctification, and to thee be ascribed glory, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Now and ever to angels of angels. Give them the foresight to act with clarity 
and true concern for the well-being of their people, giving them the wisdom to invest in long-term solutions that will help prepare for or prevent future outbreaks. May they know your peace as they work together to achieve it on earth. O Lord, our hope and Savior, whether we are at home or abroad, swallowed by many people suffering from this illness, or only a few, stay with us as we endure, persevere, and try to move forward. In place of our anxiety, give us your peace. For you are the physician of our souls and bodies of Christ our God, and to you we offer all glory, honor, and worship. With your eternal Father and your all holy, good and life giving spirit, now and ever to ages, amen. channel and our YouTube channel. God bless you all.